This video is going to show you the microscopy of some of the uh, different kinds of microbes that cause various sexually transmitted infections and diseases. So begin with Neisseria gonorrhea, which is a bacteria that causes gonorrhea. Most of the cells in this, these large red ones, they're actually the cells that live in the human. The bacteria are these very, very tiny ones. We'll zoom in on those. And so here you can see a much closer view of the actual gonorrhea cells. They're very tiny cocci, meaning that they are circular, and they tend to come in pairs. So you'll see that they're always kind of connected to another one. So that is your gonorrhea bacteria. Next is a virus. This is an electromicrograph of the herpes simplex 2 virus, which causes herpes. As a viral particle, you can see that it has a protein shell around it, and somewhere inside of it is the nucleic acid that attaches and forms the herpes. These guys live inside of human cells and cause all kinds of trouble and are very difficult to get rid of, pretty much impossible. This is Treponema pallidum, which is the bacteria that causes syphilis. It is a spirochete, and you can actually see in the image this sort of curly Q look is actually the way the bacteria looks. So, spiraling bacteria. Chlamydia is classified with the bacteria, but it is only bacteria-like because even though it has a complete cell, as in it's got like a nucleus and a membrane, it has to live and replicate inside of other cells, in this case human cells, you can see in the replication process. There's the tiny guy inside the cell. It targets the nucleus. It makes more of itself using binary fission, which is one of the reasons it's like bacteria. It doesn't just produce proteins. Then it causes significant production in the cell, and causes the cell to bust open. Here you can see stained inclusion bodies or elementary bodies, which are the ones that show that these cells have been infected with chlamydia. This is a picture of Candida albicans, which is yeast. It is a fungi, so these cells are a little bit different. They're a little bit more like human cells. They're quite a bit bigger. You can see these are circular buds. Yeast, in this case, tend to be budding, and sometimes they create stalks. Trichomoniasis is caused by a parasite called Trichomonas vaginalis. So these guys are the little parasites. They're a little hard to see in this image. But here you can get a better view at them, and you can see that they're fairly large cells, and they have these flagella sticking out of them that they use to swim around. So these are fully eukaryotic cells, like human cells, only they have flagella. Finally, one more virus, HPV, the human papillomavirus. Again, here's an electron micrograph, and you can see the external protein structure. HPV is known for causing venereal warts, but also because it is an RNA-based virus, the nucleic acid infects cervical cells and can cause them to become cancerous, and this is a stained and infected cervical cell showing that problem. So that was a series of microbes that cause STIs. Hope you enjoyed.